Ebenezer. Hello, friends, and welcome back to another episode on the ARC server. Hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, I wanted to show you, so last episode I was kind of showing you guys all the new stuff on our base and everything. So for this episode, I just wanted to show you guys, uh, we, in the live stream that happened recently, we tamed these two little new Dodecariuses. I don't know if that's how you say it. I don't think I'm pronouncing it right. But we now have Sheldon and Niblet Waddlesworth, who are adorable. So adorable. So now we have these two little cuties. Look at their faces! Oh my gosh! They're so cute. Cutest couple award ever. But we went ahead and tamed these guys. It took quite a while. They, they were pretty slow to tame. And now I wanted to go ahead and... I haven't... Avo got the saddles and I haven't ridden on them yet. So I wanted to try that out and see what that was like. And I've heard you can do some kind of fun stuff with them. So let's go ahead and take... I think I'm on Sheldon. Yeah, I'm on Sheldon. Let's back him up. Oh my gosh, look at it! It's so cute! Oh, we look so cute! We're like a little... Oh wow, and they're decently quick! I mean, not super fast, but that is so cute. That is adorable. Okay, we gotta leave that rock, because I think that's one of the special rocks that we're not supposed to break. Um, but... What I've heard is these guys are quite good for collecting stone, which is why we tamed them. But I haven't actually gotten to do that yet. They have a lot of stamina, holy cow! Look at that! It feels like a little bumper car. Boop, boop! You know? Oh, I can't get through that. Can I- ooh! Oh, I got stone just from that? What? Okay, so I've heard that you get quite a bit of stone just from doing this. Alright, 11, yeah, that's, wow, 20 stone already. That is fantastic. So we are going to be set on stone collecting, especially with both of us going like this and gathering more stone. Because it's taken so much stone to build all of those walls and to build our castle. And so far, we've just kind of, we tried to use the angulos, but they are much better suited for actually getting flint. And so now it's great that we have an actual better stone resource. Though, granted, we get it, we got it a little bit late because we already did most of the gathering that we needed. But now if we want to expand, we've talked about expanding in this area and also about moving and having different outposts at different locations. I kind of like that idea. We've seen a few different spots on the map when we've been exploring that we really liked. There's one in particular that has all these cliffs surrounding like a little lake. So we'd really like to create some sort of settlement there. So we've kind of, we've kind of talked about ideas about different outposts. This actually isn't bad for collecting wood either. Let's see if we can hit this tree after we get the wood. But the stamina though, that stamina is so good. You can run for a long ways. So we'll need to go ahead and up there, um, up the weight since the stone is so heavy. But this is fantastic. So now what we can do, because what I frequently do is I'll take whenever we need more resources or berries or whatever, which I'm actually, I don't have any food on me, so I should probably get some berries. Uh, sometimes I'll just take Twinkle out here and just clear the whole hill, but it doesn't do anything to the stone. So now we can kind of follow up with our little armadillo guys, Dodecurus, and clear that out. Okay, wait, oh, I heard about another thing. Which I'm guessing is maybe right click. Let's try it. Oh my gosh, look! Wow! Oh wow. How do we stop? How do we stop? Oh, you just right click again. That's amazing! Wow, you can cover some good ground that way too. Holy crap. This is really fast. I mean, it's not as fast as a raptor or something, but talk about mobility. 
That is wonderful. Oh my gosh, I love this. Love this little guy. Sheldon, you are a thing of beauty. You are a thing of beauty. Let me tell you. Whoops, what am I doing? <laughs> anyway, so this is Sheldon. And I'm really excited that we have them now. First of all, because they're adorable and they look like puppies when they run. But also because now stone gathering will be so much easier. So much easier. So let's go ahead and take this little guy back to our little place and park him there. Okay, we're gonna go around. Go around. Okay, there we go. We are good. Now, something else. Oh, I forgot to mention this in the last one. So Avo's bird, which I don't think it had a name yet, but he had it for quite a while. His previous bird we lost it. I don't know that it actually died. We never got a death message, but it very well could have died whenever we weren't playing. But whenever we first engaged with those apes on the north and it killed Avo, his bird kind of was fighting it, but I don't know if it died. It just disappeared, though. We haven't seen his bird, so we're assuming it is dead now. So he managed to go tame a new bird, and look at this guy. It's like jet black, except for the lighter wings. Just slightly lighter wings. I think he's really pretty. He's still thinking of names for him. I was suggesting... What, what was it that I suggested? Oh, I was asking about the... In the Lord of the Rings, the king of all the eagles. I thought that might be a cool name. I don't remember what it is exactly. But he said he wanted to avoid Lord of the Rings names. He loves Lord of the Rings, by the way. But he said he wanted to avoid those names because he wanted to push himself creatively to think of new things. <laughs> so I'm curious to see what he's going to name his bird. Let's go ahead and get Twinkle. What are we stuck on? Probably Victor. All right, so now we're moving. Twinkle has been so good for clearing these mountains, but her stamina is still really low, so she runs out of sprinting power pretty quick. So I need to keep leveling that part up. Looks like she's about to level up pretty soon too. But she like she's kind of, she's so big. She's very frequently in the way. But I really like her. I really like her. And she's so good at gathering. Even though she's not as fast at moving around, I think you probably, if you want a lot of resources, she's the best option for coming to this hilltop to gather them. Because what I've been doing is just coming here to the middle, like this. And then once I'm in here a little bit, now this is where I'm gonna have to be careful in the future not to remove those trees. You just take some swipes to the right. And we're getting a lot more than it's notifying for some reason. The notifications get glitched every once in a while. So we're actually probably picking up quite a bit of thatch and wood. And then the first sweep is always tons of berries. I wish it would show you guys because that's like the coolest part is to get to see all of the stuff that you're picking up. So we do a couple of swipes to the right, grab some stuff. I think that's probably most everything. And then we do, we just look over here and do some swipes to the left. I like that they attack based on which direction you're looking. I kind of didn't want to remove that tree, so I was trying to get out of its way, but it's a little bit hard to tell sometimes. Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> well, we got two thatch! Yeah, I wish it would give the proper notifications, but alas. But now, as you can see, she is... all this stuff down here is probably what she's grabbing. Currently, though, actually, this is extra wood from other stuff, but she is gra grabbing all these new berries and she gets wood and thatch, so it's very convenient. We can use the thatch for construction as well as for making more fertilizer. And then we can use the berries for food, obviously. There we go. That's the proper notification. Tons of berries in one sweep. So handy. So handy. And then we use the wood, obviously, for construction, too. So I usually take quite a few of these berries and I put them in the feeding trough just to make sure that everybody has has food. 
And then we'll try and take someone hunting frequently on the same day. That way uh, we can get lots of spoiled meat and then make more narcotics, get more levels. This game is very grindy. There's a lot of grinding that happens in order to get all the supplies you need and stuff. But I'm finding that, you know, even though we need to hop on every couple of days to kind of manage the base a little bit, we got to make sure that preserving bins have spark powder. It's, it's like, it's a very interesting game in that regard. I love this game, but like, the idea that it's a game that demands you to play every couple of days or every few weeks even if you want to, like you have to feed your dinos or they'll die, you know? It's really fascinating to me that there's a game out there like that. I really like it. Um, but, so even though it's a grindy game, I've found that it's becoming more maintaining and that goes a lot faster now that we have a nice big base and we have dinos to help with everything, it goes a lot faster. Now we've been talking about the idea of simplifying further, like I know we have a lot of dinos right now, um, so we've talked about having less dinos and maybe even like releasing some of these guys back into the wild as their stronger leveled up selves. <laughs> I obviously I struggle with this idea because even though I have a lot of dinos, <laughs> like the dino lady of the server, like a cat lady but with dinos, um, even though we have a lot of them, I really care about them and they're all my little babies, my little dino babies. Did I hit someone? I think I hit that Bronto, I did. I guess we gotta have a little battle here. Excuse you. This Bronto is really angry at me. I guess we can go ahead and just swap it a couple times. It's getting bloody. I have <laughs> quite a few times while I've been doing this, I've wound up accidentally... Um, whoops, wrong way. I wound up accidentally killing stuff with the tail. Like a Carno one time, and uh, Dilo and Parasaurs. Like, they'll just get caught in the crossfire. Looks like he might be moving on. Maybe. Maybe, hopefully. Why aren't you swiping? There you go. There you go. But I would like to keep leveling up Twinkle to make her almost into some sort of battle Bronto, I think would be pretty awesome. If she was like beefy enough to be able to take on some of the bigger predators. But she's probably getting pretty close. Probably getting pretty close to that. All right, let's go ahead and turn this baby around. I don't know what happened to that Bronto, but I'm hoping that it kind of gave up. Hopefully it doesn't try to attack us when we go back to the base. Hoping that's not the case. Now we do still get alphas spawning out here every once in a while, but for the most part, with the new updates, there have been less of them, we've noticed. It used to be like we would see one every day if we logged on. And so we'd go kill it in order to make sure that the area was safe, not just for us, but also for like Fabe. Um, but now that with the updates, we haven't seen them nearly as often, so that's been really nice. I still haven't seen an Alpha Rex in this area, though I do think they come around here on occasion. I feel so slow. I also need to get some food. Let's go ahead and get some of these berries. And let's go Tinto. I'm curious if the berries... Why aren't we moving? Okay, there we go. We're getting some lag, I think. Um, I'm curious if the berries actually have any variation in what they do for you because you know how narcotics and stem berries you know this guy still looks angry he's still angered i wonder if he's trying to trying to find his way up i might need to go take care of him just to make sure that our base is safe because there are some pipes down there too for the plumbing that we have now important to make sure that he didn't go destroying them or something like that. 
So we'll go do that real quick. Yes, uh, so narcotics and stem berries have different effects on you, but I'm curious if the other berries have any sort of variation in what they actually do for you. Not really sure. It's kind of slow going on Trinity a little bit. Not Trinity, what am I talking about? Twinkle. <laughs> but at the same time, I think overall you do get a lot more resources for the time spent. All right, and then we'll just turn her this way. That way her tail will go into the wall. There we go. All right, so now we've got lots of berries. I haven't figured out a graceful way of getting down from her without taking damage. All right, let's grab some of this stuff. And they've also made it now where whenever you have your dino, I'm encumbered, dun dun dun. Not too encumbered though. They've also made it where now whenever your dino eats berries and stuff, if it's in its inventory, it'll actually eat its least favorite berries first, which is kind of interesting to me. I guess they did that so that whenever you gathered berries and you were going to tame stuff, your dino wouldn't eat like all of your major berries, which is what you need for taming a lot of the time. That's my assumption. Looks like we got some spoiled meat in here too. We could probably use that later. Okay, let's go take care of that little that little Bronto real quick. He's ready to level up too. Let's go ahead and do... I don't even get their health up. Alright, let's go. Come on, Nami. Let's go take care of this Bronto. I still really love having the T-Rexes. They're a lot of fun to run around with. And I didn't used to, I used to always go on Raptor and I would just have these guys following me, but it's actually pretty fun to just go out as just the T-Rex. Where is Nami? Nami, what you doing? Where you at, girl? I don't know where she went, but I hope that Bronto isn't messing with our pipes. Let's go ahead and go try and lure it away, maybe? It seems to be still tracking on our Bronto up there. What on earth is it even doing? <laughs> yeah, you scared. Keep running. Keep running. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Maybe we don't need to chase this guy down. But I don't know, at this point, I feel like I've committed, you know? Go in for the kill. Go in for the kill. We're out of stamina. That, there we go. That was easy. Three round prime meat. That's pretty good. Aw, oh, someone was hungry. Someone was very hungry. Well, anyway, I think I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.